the kilogram and pound no longer exist. Seconds, meters, and other units of measure familiar to us don't exist either, or at least not in the way we used to know them. New standards for units of measurement were introduced in May of 2019. True, they remain the same in name, and you won't notice a difference. Only the method of calibration was changed. It seems that scientists simply had nothing else to do, so out of boredom, they came up with a revised system. But in fact, 2019 was very influential with several unexpected discoveries. Some of them inspire, while others will leave us fearful and wanting to leave our planet as soon as possible. So, what scientific discoveries and events made the year of 2019 memorable? A very alarming signal was received along with the introduction of the new measurement system. The Mauna Loa Observatory noted that the carbon dioxide content in the Earth's atmosphere reached 415 parts per million. This is the highest level in the last 2 million years. So, for the first time in 2 million years, our planet is closer than ever to the brink of a global catastrophe. Many skeptics considered such indicators to be related to the nearby volcano of the same name, which also emits a huge amount of carbon dioxide, equal to the annual emissions of an average metropolis. Well, this is true. Strong winds usually carry the masses of carbon dioxide away from the detector. If these winds ceased to help out, then we would immediately notice the effects of the volcano. So we really are on the verge of disaster. The saddest scientific event of 2019 was the death of the last Sumatran rhinos in Malaysia. On May 27th, a 30-year-old male named Tam passed away due to kidney and liver failure. And six months later, the last 25-year-old female Sumatran rhino, Iman, was taken by cancer. Now this species is officially extinct in Malaysia. In other countries, their total number is no more than 100. But there's also good news. In Vietnam, they found a unique tiny deer with fangs which was considered extinct for more than 30 years. The Vietnam mouse deer belongs to the deer family, Tragulus, and is the smallest ungulate, the size of a hare, and weighs up to 11 pounds or 5 kilograms. In addition to this resurrected animal species, a new human species that was previously unknown was discovered. Homo luzonensis, or the Luzon Man, existed approximately 50,000 years ago and was the closest relative of another species, Homo floresiensis, or the Hobbit. Scientists stumbled upon their remains in 2007, but until now it wasn't possible to show that they belonged to a new kind of humans. Homo luzonensis lived on the Philippine island of Luzon, and their main difference was their incredibly small teeth which are inferior in size to a modern person's teeth. Another international team of scientists discovered the original Eve in 2019. According to research, every person on the planet descended from a woman who lived in modern Botswana. The woman appeared in this location 200,000 years ago. It was previously thought that Homo sapiens arose in several places, and evolved simultaneously. But it turns out that people originated in one place. Then, after 70,000 years, due to the impact of the climate, they migrated in two directions, to the northeast and the southwest. And some people remained to live in the original location. The DNA of 1,200 African tribesmen confirmed that our universal 8,000 times great-grandmother of humanity lived near the Zambezi River. It's also true that some of us have relatives from a different bloodline. As it turned out in 2019, 15,000 years ago, Homo sapiens mated with Denisovans, the closest relative of Neanderthals. Therefore, some people of non-African descent are much closer to another kind of human species. This is especially true for the people of Southeast Asia. There were between 3 to 5 percent Denisovan genes found in the modern inhabitants of the Philippines, New Guinea, 
and China. Some of the most important breakthroughs in science have occurred in the field of medicine. The second person in history was fully cured from the HIV virus. The first successful case was recorded 12 years ago. The second patient was originally diagnosed with HIV in 2003. Then, when the patient developed cancer, they received a bone marrow transplant from a donor whose genes have a rare mutation that provides immunity to HIV infection. This mutation doesn't allow the virus to penetrate cells and prevents the virus's ability to multiply, leading to its death over time. Such treatment, of course, is lengthy and time-consuming, so it's not for everyone. But the second successful case confirms that the cure for AIDS is not an anomaly, but a real possibility. Also, doctors were able to nearly overcome another terrible virus of our time, Ebola. Previously, it was considered practically incurable, and the probability of death ranged from between 25 to 90 percent. Since 1976, more than 11,000 people have died from Ebola. At the same time, the virus spread at a catastrophic pace. In places where the epidemic spread, up to 250 people died at a time. In August 2019, scientists developed a combination of antibodies that, once they enter the bloodstream of a person, kill the virus with a 90% success rate. This finding will reduce mortality to 10% which gives great hope for saving thousands of lives. Also, in 2019, scientists finally found the cause of a disease which currently affects about 21 million people on the planet. We're talking about schizophrenia. This is one of the most common mental illnesses, but so far there was no good explanation for how it occurs. Laura Huckins of the Econ School of Medicine at Mount Sinai, along with her colleagues, discovered specific genes for schizophrenia. In total, scientists counted about 413 gene mutations associated with schizophrenia, which are located within 260 genes. Intervention in the genes will reduce the likelihood of the disease when there's a genetic predisposition to it. The DNA was inherited by humanity from an ancestor that was in common with Neanderthals. It's true that it was only inherited by the Homo sapiens, while Neanderthals were doomed to mental well-being until they died out. Meanwhile, new diseases appear from where they were least expected. Vaping, recently considered a safer alternative to smoking, appears to be not so harmless after all. In the U.S. alone, at least 47 deaths associated with vaping have been confirmed. In addition, in the United States, there have been more than 2,000 recorded visits for medical care in connection with lung diseases caused by vaping. Scientists believe that the cause of death is vitamin E, or rather a substance derived from it. This is one of the main components in the manufacture of cannabis vape liquids. Once in the lungs, it turns into a sticky, honey-like liquid, causing great difficulty with normal breathing. I spoke about the next discovery many times before, and it's far from new. About a hundred years ago, quantum entanglement was described by Einstein. But not until 2019 was a photo of this phenomenon taken for the first time. Physicists from the University of Glasgow in Scotland, using an incredibly light-sensitive camera, were able to capture the flow of entangled photons emitted by a special light source. Many scientific methods have helped advance the field of law enforcement. More than 70 criminals were caught and even 33-year-old serial killings were solved using the genetic genealogy method. Hua Xiong, a killer from South Korea, has long remained one of the most famous serial killers, like the Zodiac in the US and Jack the Ripper in the UK, whose identities have not yet been proven. A Korean murderer by the name Lee Chun Jai would have also remained a mystery forever if, in 2019, it was not for the ability to compare the DNA found at the scene of the murder 
with the existing DNA databases of criminals that are now being created in many countries. Now, few will have the ability to go unpunished. This is only a small part of the incredible kaleidoscope of events in the world of science for 2019. I've already created episodes about some, the rest are yet to come. The events that took place in space for 2019 are significant and deserve a separate video. What do you think was the most significant discovery or event this year? Write in the comments. If you like my video, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so you don't miss out on new releases, and give us a thumbs up. And share this video with your friends. It's much more interesting to discuss such fascinating topics together.